So like everyone else, for the past few days I've been checking out the new Marvel Rivals game, also known as Overwatch Marvel Edition, I guess? Kind of seems like that, but hey, it's kind of fun. It's got some room to grow, but I thought that it would be a good idea to show this off on handhelds to see if this is a game that's worth your time trying to get booted up onto Legion Go, or maybe you really like the game and you want to take it on the go and you want to see how it might run on something like the Ally or the Legion Go, well then this video is for you. Even though I just released a video saying how much I loved Bazite, I did want to start this video out showcasing the experience in Windows since that's what probably the majority of Legion Go users are still going to be using, but at the end I'm just going to put a quick little clip on Bazite performance and whether it's any different than Windows or not. For this test, I used custom TDP mode in Legion Space and I set all of the TDP sliders to the same values to lock it in to an exact value without fluctuation. That way we can get a more accurate benchmark of what the frame rates are like without getting spikes up to higher wattages. So without further ado, let's jump into some setup and testing. So for all footage today, we're running at a 1280 by 800 resolution, which is an exact 2x integer scale on the Legion Go, which means that we're gonna get fairly crispy pixel scaling on the display, even though it's only one quarter of the entire pixels of the screen, it scales nicely without any artifacts, and we get kind of that one-to-one -one scale. I don't think the game can really run at much higher than 800p on this device. I've turned off any built-in render scaling, I've turned off any frame generation, any special settings, and everything else is just set on the lowest possible settings. I first started out at a wattage of 17 watts, which I think is the lowest that you can get any performance on, and a setting that means maybe getting some battery life but unfortunately here you can see a pretty poor performance i think i started at like 26 frames per second but once i got into battle it started dipping down to 20 frames per second even 15 frames per second even saw some spikes down to 11 frames per second so not playable at 17 watts then i tried to bring up the overlay and change the tdp and unfortunately marvel rivals really doesn't like you having any other windows open and the game just hard locked up when i did this and i had to force close it Next up, we've got a fairly significant hop to 24 watts. Here we can start to see a little bit more performance in the 30s, but dips down to 20s, and there's still some lag spikes making it kind of uncomfortable to play. Yeah, it got as high as 45, but it was choppy and not an awesome experience. As you just saw there, it dipped 22. Again, when I tried to change the TDP sliders, the game hard locked, so set whatever TDP you want before you get in the game and don't bother trying to change it within the game. For the next test, I thought I'd go full autopilot, turn the resolution back up to native, but use FSR on the performance setting and frame gen to see if we could do some frame gen magic to still get a good frame rate. And well, the result of that was absolutely nothing. Within a few seconds of starting the match, the frame rate crawled to one or two frames per second and the game just hard locked again. So frame gen and FSR not really playing nicely here. And since I hard locked up in a couple matches, I got this nice little notice that I've been temporarily banned from matchmaking because the game kept crashing. Thanks. So for this last test, I first went into a training match to make sure I didn't get myself banned. Here I've got it up to 35 watts, the maximum setting. Actually, I think 30 watts is sustained the maximum setting, but it can spike up to a little bit higher. So here we're actually finally seeing something like 48 to 60 frames per second and a lot less stuttering. So let's jump into a match. And here we are in an actual match. And yeah, I'm getting... 48, 50, occasional spikes up to 60, but I'm not seeing a ton of lows like I did when I was using lower wattages. So yeah, this is where the game's playable. All low settings, 1200 by 800, and max out the wattage on the Legion Go. Make sure you're plugged into the wall, and this game is playable, and it looks pretty decent, even though it's only at 800p, the integer scaling on this display still makes it look pretty nice, and the Legion Go just has a beautiful display anyways, so there you go. Yes, you can play Marvel Rivals on the Legion Go. So lastly, I just wanted to hop over to Bazite or SteamOS to see what this looks like. Here we are at 13 watts, and we're getting about 26 frames per second, so still not ideal. I do feel like the lows are better in SteamOS though, so even though it's not a super high frame rate, it seems to be a little smoother. Now keep in mind this is training and not an actual match, so that may play into it as well. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up to 17 watts here to give it a little bit more juice. At this point, this is already more performance than the Steam Deck can put out, so I don't think this game's gonna be great on the Steam Deck, but well, if you wanna see me do Steam Deck OLED Marvel Rivals test, then leave a comment below. I got a Steam Deck coming next week, so maybe we can check that out. So yeah, getting 30 to 40 FPS on 17 watts. And now we'll bump it up to 25 watts, and we are already getting like 57, 58 FPS, which I think is better 
than we were getting on Windows B a little bit. Again, I think it comes down to the lows being a little better. And finally, let's bump it up to the maximum of 30 watts. And here, yeah, we're getting 60, 62 FPS. Again, not in match, so I expect the match to perform a little worse, but I've already almost gotten myself banned from this game today, so I think that is good for now. So yep, just to recap, you're gonna need maximum wattage, 30 watts. Maybe you can get away with 25 watts. That's the minimum you're gonna need to be able to get at least 40 frames per second in a match. I did see some lower dips when on w Windows compared to SteamOS slash Bazite, so maybe Bazite is the way to go on this one. But either way, it's going to be a power hunger game. Hopefully we can see some driver optimizations, some game optimizations to get performance in a little bit of better place. But yeah, it is technically playable on the Legion Go. If you're playing right now, leave a comment below. Let me know how you're enjoying this game. If you're playing it on the Legion Go, Steam Deck or Ally, let me know. Always cool to see that. And again, as I mentioned earlier, and if you want to see me do a video on this game running on the Steam Deck OLED, then let me know and I'll try to get one of those out as well.